Hello all. In this lecture, we will see about string methods. So, we will see uh, what is a method. I will start with an example. So, uh, I am giving a text. Uh, I am giving a string here. Python is very easy to learn. Okay, so this is my text. Now, if I want to find the words, so if I want to find the words in this string, so you can use a method which give, takes an object text. We need to supply a data and if we want to find the words, we can use this method, split. Split. Simply we can use. So if you want to find the number of words in this string, you can use the split function. So this is split method. This is a method. This is similar to a function, but it is slightly different. It has a slightly different syntax. So similar to function, we have arguments. We can give arguments also, but we have to call with an object. That data object should be there. Here the data is text. So text dot split will give the we will separate into different words. So if you want to find how many words are there, now this method has split it into different words. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six words will be there. So if we find the link, it will be six. So there will be six words in it. Okay. If you want to find the different words in it, print words, if you print those words, you will get like this. So it will be a list will be written. The first word is Python, then is very. So all the words have been separated. So this is a method, split method. We call this as a method. So what well, the thing that to be that is to be noted is it's similar to function, but we should have a data object. The text is a data object using this dot operator. Data object dot this operator then we use call this uh, method and we will get the uh, result. So this will be split into different words. It's similar to function, but only thing is we have to use uh, an object, data object to call it. So this is an example. So it behaves like a function. It has slightly different index. Method is always called with a given data value called object. So we call this as object. This text, this is a data value. So we call that as object. So method should be called using an object, that data value. Then only we will get the result. So this is a syntax, an object dot method name and any arguments. Like in functions also, we can give any arguments inside this thing. So you can find all the string methods if you type dir str. If you type a dir str here, you will get all the all the method in this string file. So these are the different methods in this str. We will see some of these methods. The or you can type help str. So these are some of the methods. I'll uh, show you the example. So we'll uh, give a string. I'll open one new window. So I'll open a new window. So I'm assigning a string. Uh, hello. Good morning. Okay. So I have assigned hello, good morning to S. Now you can find the length of the string. You know how to calculate the length of string. You will get 90. So there will be 90 digits. Now, if you want to send uh, this thing, so if you want to print it in a centralized manner, so if you want to print it in center, then you can use a method called sender. Sender, since it is 19, I will take some 25 or 30. 
30 positions. So if I use this method, so it will be uh, the whole string will be of 30 length. So additional spaces will be, so it will be, this string will be at the center of this 30 string. And additional spaces will be added at the left and right side. So hello, good morning. This is a string and I have made it, uh, I have used the center. So of 30 means 30 spaces, 30, the width of the string will become 30 and the string will be centralized to that 30. So this will be sender to the 30 thing. So for that we can use this uh, sender method. So what we have to use, we have to use the data object here. The S is the data object here, S dot sender. Sender is a method. The next example, if you want to check whether it ends with something, if it ends with, we have an ends with method is there, ends with, if you want to check whether it ends with uh, ing, if it ends with ing, you can simply use this ends with method. So it will either return true or false. So it is true. So it ends with ing. The meaning is that the string ends with ing. So we can use this method, ends with method, ends with method. So we have to use that object data value dot method. And the argument is ends with ing. So you can check. Otherwise, you can use whether it ends with int. It is false because the string ends with ing. Okay. Similarly, there is start with also. S dot starts with. Starts with key. Starts with he. Sorry. He. Starts with he. We can simply check and we can see that it is true. So it will simply return true or false. It will check whether that string, a, a string starts with he. So small and capital is different here. If you give he, it will be return false. Small h, it will be false because it start, the string starts with capital H and E. So starts with, uh, this is another method. Then we have, uh, we can find uh, whether a particular substring is present. So if we want a start find of uh, good, if you want to, sorry. Okay, so if you want to find whether that good is present, it will return whether if it is present, that position will be returned. So it is present at 7th position. From 7th position, that good value is there. So if you want to find some whether some substring is present, you can simply give find, use this find method. So this object value dot find. You, it will return at what position it is available. Okay. Then uh, if alpha, uh, we can check whether uh, it contains alpha, alphabets only. So if you want to check whether only alphabets are available, then you can use this is alpha method. Is alpha method is there. So it is false because we have a comma here. So it contains comma operator also. That is why it is written false. It, if you want to check whether if the string contains only alphabets, but it contains a comma also. So it returns a false. Similarly, we can use if digit also. If digit. So it is also false. So it will check whether the string contains only digits. Whether that string contains only digits. So it is false because it contains alphabets and Punctuation marks also. Then we have seen, already seen this words equal to s dot split. You can split this words. So the words will be split.
with and if you want you can print that words so hello good and morning so the words have been split in you know, the string has been split into different words now if you want to join it back you can join it back uh, join these words so join you can use this join method so this is a data object you have to join with words so now all these thing have been joined together so there won't be any space in between because we are simply joining all these uh, words together so after hello comma the immediately that good will be there and in uh, immediately after d morning will be there so we can use this join method so we are joining using this data object we are joining all these words then uh, we can find uh, if we want to make it the whole thing string into lower case we can use this lower method if we want to make it into a lower case so there here h was capital in the previous string now it uh, everything has been converted to uh, small letters so you can use this lower method to convert it into lower case similarly if you want to make it upper case you can simply use upper so all the all the uh, string all the digit, all the alphabet will be converted into upper case letters if you use upper upper method is there s dot upper then if you want to replace a particular thing a uh, particular uh, alphabet you can use this so if you want to replace all the e's in that with uh, let it be i i want to replace it with i you can use this replace method so sorry so if you want to replace all the e's in the uh, in the string with i then you can use this replace method so all the e's so i have only one e that e will be replaced with i so it will be hello hello morning then if you want to uh, strip this thing uh, you can uh, use a strip method also it returns a list of words in the string uh, using the delimiter <clears throat> okay uh, if you want to strip mm. uh, for example if you want to strip this uh, hello all actually if i have to include some space here okay i am going to use a strip method strip method now if i use a strip method now all the spaces will be removed from this so it will be stripping it okay all the uh, white spaces will be removed So if there are uh, empty blank spaces here and there, all those blank spaces can be removed using this strip method. So these are some of the string methods that are constantly used. So this we have already seen s dot sender. It will return a copy of s sender with a given number of columns. Then count. It returns a number of on or overlapping occurrences of. Then we can have optional uh, arguments also. arguments can also be given inside this starting and then all those delimiters can be uh, limited so we as in slice we can set that starting and end position also then ends with uh, will return we have already seen then find also we have already seen then is alpha we have seen is digit then join if you want to concatenate the strings in the sequence we can use this join then a uh, lower case to convert to lower case then we have seen already this uh, replace uh, replace some particular character with some other character we can use this replace then we have already seen this split then starts with we have three 
and also strip we have seen, then upper case also we have seen. So these are different string methods. You just go through the uh, detailing of all this, what it does and all. Everything is written here. So we have already seen all these things. Okay. So this is our first book. Thank you.